Hey guys, it's Adrian. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I made $500,000 in less than nine months with my dropshipping store. I used a method where I didn't have to pay for ads that made my brand successful, and you can implement them too. Disclaimer, there are so many factors that made this possible, like the ability to create content, available capital to use, and how to spot trends, etc, etc, etc. Your results will absolutely vary from mine, but positive growth is very doable using these methods slash incentives. The first incentive to get people to purchase is to offer some sort of incentive using an email pop-up form. To create an email pop-up form, I highly suggest that you use the app Klaviyo. This email form will bring in more sales and customers to your brand because everybody loves discounts. For example, this pop-up form here that we created was responsible for over $7,557.99 in total sales. Also keep in mind that this is the amount of revenue generated in the last two months. Because of this form, we were able to increase our conversion rate and it even allowed us to retarget customers who abandoned at checkout. Sometimes customers will add the product to their cart but forget to actually make a purchase. Could be because they got sidetracked or they didn't have their cart on them at the time of purchase. So this is where the abandoned checkout comes into play, getting them back and reminding them to pay for their order. Now, you're probably wondering how we even found this product product and this trend. On TikTok, there are plenty of creators posting reviews about products they bought, or there are live stores that are already selling a product. What I look for is if the video has gotten well over 10 million views and that people in the comment sections are actually asking where they can buy it. For example, this creator posted a product she bought and it got a lot of engagement which created a lot of demand. I would then take one of these stores and use Shop Hunter to track whether or not the store is actually generating sales. It's as simple as copying the link and pasting it to see sales. Now that you have that data, you can start building your storefront. The next tip is price anchoring. This method you can apply all the time and doesn't really cost you anything. Here's a quote to summarize. No one buys the most expensive item on the menu, they buy the second most expensive one. You want to format your product prices within reason to your pricing expectations. Example, since we are selling the shark blanket, we had to offer this product in three different ways to give our customers options. The cheapest option is only one blanket for $90. Now this is relatively more on the affordable side, but not enough emotion to get someone to impulsively buy. The second option is the couples pack, where they will actually get a better discount for buying two, plus it's something that couples would like. Now that's also influenced by our marketing strategy, which I'll get to in the next 30 seconds. The last option is three shark blankets, which is the family pack. Now the target item that I wanted to sell was the couples pack. It's not the cheapest nor the most expensive. People love staying in the middle. Use price anchoring to make certain products look more attractive and guide consumers towards certain products. So test out some price anchoring and see if their order data shows any patterns. The last tip is to use TikTok and Instagram as your platforms to create hype. I've seen so many different people use paid ads as a method to market their product, but this is different. I've been creating content for a very long time and the framework I use to go viral every time and generate sales is ADA. Basically, when you get your product and you create content, ADA is a way to break down a video to influence interest that they need this product. The most important thing in this acronym is attention. You need to learn how to capture people's attention, especially because we are living in an attention-based economy. This is the general dashboard from Shopify for the first month of the brand that did over $20,000 in sales. The second month, we started to understand more about what content works, so we just replicated the content that worked every single time. And here is the actual Instagram and TikTok page where we were going viral. If you search this brand on the social media platforms, take a moment to watch every single video. You'll see exactly what formula worked well. We had videos that got over 59.7 million views, 24 million views, and 30.4 million views. And every video that did really well was correlated to an incredible amount of sales on the Shopify store, which is another testimony that you don't need to spend money on ads in order to generate sales. Now, every time a customer makes a purchase, I would use Zendrop to fulfill all of my orders. Usually I don't tell people how I fulfill orders because I do want some privacy to my strategies, but Zendrop allowed me to create bundled deals and source products to give me a really good profit margin. This is how much I was able to profit from all the pricing options I put on my store, which is something no other supplier would be able to give to you. Now, I do want to be honest with you. I did get the plus plan, which is $79 per month, but if you use the link in my bio, you'll be able to get it for 50% off for the next three months, a free $200 in order credits, and it's super worth it for the long term given their branding feature. So make sure you take advantage of that offer. It would really help this channel a lot. Now, if you're wondering how many videos it took for us to go viral on our socials, we posted 45 videos on Instagram before hitting 18.3 million views and posted seven videos on TikTok before hitting 23.7K views. And like I said, as soon as we found a viral winner, we continued to post what worked. Don't reinvent the wheel. Now this brand is still live and active and the best part about this is that we are actually scaling this brand to sell it for an exit to an investor, which could lead to a large six figure payout. Obviously, a lot of this is easier said than done because in order to get these kinds of results, kind of what I've gotten here, you have to be able to be consistent, which requires a lot of discipline and internal discovery on who you are as a person. You have to have really good traits such as obsession, adaptability, creativity, vision, and confidence. And if you're lacking those traits and want to become better so you can see success, then I highly suggest that you check out the course I put together called the Faceless AI Digital Creator Bundle. 
I know it will be valuable to you because it has helped so many of my students achieve really good results. You'll be taught to build discipline, I'll help you rewire your brain, and most importantly, you'll learn the four pillars to make money online similar to what I showed you in this video. Your process to success will look similar to mine, as I too was someone who worked a 9 to 5 and new school wasn't the right path for me. But I needed a massive wake-up call in order to develop the skills to make $500,000 in less than 9 months. Now your results will vary depending on how willing you are to learn a skill, the capital you have to play with, and the people you decide to surround yourself with and all that stuff. So if you want access to the Faceless AI Digital Creator Bundle, check the link in the description and you can also use discount SALE25 for 25% off since you watched this entire video. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you learned something new, and comment down below if you have any questions. And also follow me on Instagram or TikTok, if I'm banned on Instagram don't worry I'm getting the account back, I got some weirdos trying to attack me right now, talk to you soon.